Hey y'all, welcome back to Two Fat Girls. It's me, Mandy. Um, I have freaking been messing with my hair and my makeup this entire time. Um, and I bought, well, y'all know my Goo Doll show was last night, and that's what this vlog is going to be about. So it's going to have like a little bit of weight loss because y'all know how like Goo totally helped me lose weight. Like blah, 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 blah. I'll put the link in the jig and the down in there thingy box. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have a little bit of weight loss. It's mainly going to be a um, Goo Dolls concert review and um, Ryan Starr. He was their opening act. And I'm sorry my voice sounds freaking awful. But anyway, like the point that I was telling you earlier or when I started is that, um, yeah, I kept messing with my makeup and my hair. And I don't think it was my makeup or my hair at all. I think it was this shirt. I bought the Goo Goo Dolls, Goo Goo Dolls shirt at the concert last night. And it's red. And it was cash only. It was $30. It was cash only. So the reason I got it was because I'm like, oh, this must be a special shirt because it's cash only. Which it might be. I'm not really sure. It says on here, like, I've got a video. Hey, guys. It's me, Andy. Um, I, got, I went to my Goo Goo Dolls concert last night. So I'm totally going to put this in my log. Um, but yeah, you see this shirt that I have on? I don't know if it's like limited edition or what, but you can only pay with, for this shirt with cash. So I'm like, I'm totally getting this one because this one seems like it's, uh, special. So this is the shirt that I got and, um, ignore my pants because these are my pajama pants and I'm comfy and I totally have a concert hangover and my head still hurts. And so I'm leaving them on. Anyway, this shirt that I freaking got on is a motherfucking large large y'all it's large so yeah I mean I still got like belly but like mainly I'm still big in my hips and my arms and my face like I still have a double chin like I really want it to go away but yeah this is a freaking large shirt large t-shirt and my hips still sticks up just a tiny bit but it's not too bad so, yeah, I got a large shirt at the Goo Doll concert. What the hell? This is the only shirt. I have like 50 bazillion Goo Goo Dolls concert t-shirts. This is the only one I've ever bought in a large. Hello. Like, what I, like, look at this. Like, when I put it on, like, it looked orange when I kept putting it on the camera. And I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. Also, if you just find this vlog because you're searching for Goo Goo Dolls or something... I cuss a lot, so if you don't like that, stop it now, because um, I'm about to get my cuss on. Anyway, yeah, like, this shirt looks orange on camera, and I don't look good in orange, and I don't like orange. So, I had to change it. And something I think is my lipstick, too, because I try to put red on to... I'll be back. I'll be back. Give me a minute. Back, and I feel much better. I think it was that lipstick, too. I can't wear orange. It looks really bad. Um, especially with my skin tone. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's talk about goo. Okay. So it was in Nashville. Y'all know I live in Kentucky. Nashville is like two hours away. It's a little over two hours depending on traffic. Well, my friend that I went with, her name is Courtney, and I apologize. My throat is a little gravelly from screaming too much. But what's the point of going to a concert if you're not going to scream and you're not going to get crazy? Like, yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, and having fun and seeing awesome rock band. Anyway, I'm getting totally way distracted. This vlog is probably going to be like a million years long. If you don't make it through all of it, that's okay. I won't be mad at you. Um, but if you do, bonus points to you. Okay, um. So, yeah, like, Nashville is about a little over two hours away from us. Well, my friend that I went with, I did not know that she didn't like to drive on the interstate, and she was the one that was driving. And, um, so we, like, took the back down 31W. I don't know if y'all know, are familiar with that road, but that's where we went on. It was, like, basically, like, a straight shot, um, we had to make, like, a couple turns, and, like, I mean, we freaking drove through the boonies of Kentucky. Even I have never been through this part of Kentucky. Like, we drove through, like, um, where was it? What was the first place we hit? I don't even remember. But, like, the first place that we drove through freaking looked like the hills have eyes. Like, mutated people were about to jump out the woods and, like, destroy the car. And then the town that we went through after that looked like Burkittsville from um, the Blair Witch Project. You know, so it's like, uh, y'all better keep up with the map. Don't nobody lose the map or we're done, you know. 
It was insane. So, like, because we went that back way, it took us, like, a lot longer to get there than it than it probably normally would, like, if you go on the interstate. Like, I think it probably added, like, 30, 40 minutes extra time to our drive. And um, I was so hungry because I didn't eat because we were planning on getting to Nashville. Being able to eat, I was going to go pick up the tickets. I had a meet and greet, and, like, you have to pick up the meet and greet pass, and then it tells you, like, it's really cool. It's, like, some covert, like, secret James Bond mission, like, you know, this message will self-explode or self-destruct in, like, so many minutes. Because, like, they give it to you in, like, this little envelope with your name on it, and then, like, inside is your directions on where to go and where to meet, and then it's, like, oh, put your wristband on, you know? It's pretty cool. I like the way they kind of do it because it makes you feel special. Anyway, so, you know, and I was going to have to pick up my meet and greet and then, you know, we would have had time to go eat. Well, it took us longer to get there. I was starving. Like, literally all I had to eat was I had a yogurt because y'all know I'm doing, this is a weight loss vlog. If, like I said, if you're coming to this from searching for Google Dolls or Ryan Star. Um, I'm on Weight Watchers and I've lost like over 50 pounds. And so like this yesterday morning, all I had to eat was a yogurt and I had some coffee and, um, I had two monsters, but they don't even count as real monsters because they were low carb monsters. Okay. So it was like drinking water, um, because we were planning on eating when we got there. When we got to Nashville, there was freaking 50 miles of traffic because it, they're like doing construction and, um, Come to find out, when we were, like, waiting out back by the buses, this guy was telling us, I guess he worked in the building next to it or whatever, he was saying, like, the walls were, like, full of roaches, because he's like, don't, girls, he's like, I wouldn't suggest you lean on those walls, because roaches live in them, and then, like, two seconds later, a roach popped out, mm, I don't know what's going on in Nashville, y'all, but they got roaches, um, I'm sorry, I got distracted, um, so, yeah, so we get there, okay, and there's like a million miles of traffic, there's construction, <clears throat> her GPS, every time we make a turn, that is not supposed, you know, because you like can't turn down some places because they've got it blocked off because of construction, that bitch keeps rerouting everything, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to throw that out the window because she's getting on my nerves, and even Courtney was like, shut up! Which that's the girl I went with, and she was the one that was driving. <clears throat> so we finally find the Ryman, which we drove past the Ryman on the way in. But then we want to go try and find some place to eat. And we're like, well, let's just go park at the Ryman, and then we'll go and find some place to eat. That way we'll have a good parking spot. Because we got there fairly early. We got there at like 5, you know, maybe in like 4.30. But after all that freaking driving around, we drove around for like an hour. And so then we found a place to park near the Ryman. We finally got close to it, and it was $10 to park. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck how much it is. Let's park this so I can get out of this car. So we get in there, and the parking place says they close an hour after the shows are over. And we're like, well, we want to wait back by the buses, so, you know, we can't stay here. So then we pull out of that one, and we drive down again. And Courtney's like, oh, my God. She's like right there let's park right there and it was like literally like rhyming little alley where the buses are parked a little like wall thing parking spots there was probably only like 10 of them down there and so we pulled in there and Courtney was like let's just park here and I'm like okay I don't care and then she went to go pay for it and she's like oh my god Mandy it is $17 to park I'm like I don't care I you know I'm like let's freaking park here because you know it's like right there by the Ryman so I go in there and I pick up the tickets and the meet and greet things aren't ready and they told me to wait till six o'clock which was like 20 minutes or something so which that's normal I don't think I've ever done a meet and greet where the passes were there when they said they were going to be they're always like oh be there when the venue opens and your meet and greet pass will be there they're never there y'all so don't don't be upset if they're not you're gonna have to wait a little bit and it's okay because it's worth it so they said come back in 20 minutes. So we're like, okay, by then it's 6 o'clock. And I think the, the it opened, and I don't know when the venue opened and you could go inside. I don't remember. Um, So we waited, like, we ended up having to wait, like, 30 or 40 minutes. And me and poor Courtney were starving, starving. But the venue wasn't open, and I'm like, I want to go fix my hair because, like, her car didn't have air in it. And so, like, her windows were down, and my hair was utterly destroyed. So, we went to, like, Margaritaville, and, like, I was nothing like, a uh, freaking cloud of hairspray in there. Because I was like, <laughs> like this. Um, so, then we go back to the venue, 
we go inside. We had a meet at the merchant desk table at 7.15. And I went in there and I got me my t-shirt. And they had tour program. Well, they had posters for $15. And I didn't want to wag it around all night. So I was like, I'll come back in and get it. They were like limited edition. There's only like a hundred of them. They're like hatch print posters. I've got one from when I went to see David Gray in Nashville too. And they were limited edition. I'm like, I'll come back and get it. I don't want it. I don't want nothing to happen to it while I'm sitting there. You know, I bought the red shirt. My mom had given me some money to buy her shirt because she's been to a bunch of concerts with me too. And, um, I had to buy my bug. I had to buy her a little bracelet. Um, I wasn't going to get her a t-shirt, but they were like way too expensive and she said she wouldn't be able to wear them that long. You know, she's only seven. So I'm not going to spend $30 on a t-shirt that she can probably only wear for like a year at the most. So I bought her a bracelet, but she has a t-shirt anyway, so it's all good. And, um, I wanted a tour program. I had read that they had tour programs and then I'm saying, I'm like, I'm like, those tour programs are 20 bucks. I'm like, what? It's like 10 pages long. I'm sure there's probably going to be gorgeous pictures of the goo dolls in there. But $20. Mandy had to say no. Um, But I'm sure like when I bought the tour programs for the Gutterflower Tour, it seems like when they put them on the website, they went like on sale. I don't Because I know I did not pay $20 for the Gutterflower Tour program because I bought three. Um... So, yeah, I was looking for them to go on sale. And that's the same thing, like, with the Dizzy Up the Girl little washer necklace. I bought mine for $10. It broke, and I lost it at work one time. And so I was like, I'll look on eBay. eBay had them, and eBay was, they were, like, selling for 100 bucks on eBay. And then, like, a couple months later, like, they put them up on the website, and they were $10 again. And I'm like, I'm so, well, first of all, I won't pay no $100 for that anyway distracted yet again. I have, see this? Like, I have a list of what I'm supposed to be talking about, and it's just getting way out. So, I didn't get a tour program, but I still dropped, like, 90 bucks at that table. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But when I go to a concert, I know I'm about to drop a lot of money, so I save up for a while. Um, so, yeah. Oh, let me tell you this. Okay, there was this guy that I seen, he was getting a meet and greet pass too, and we went in there, and I looked at him, not like I knew, well, kind of like I knew him, because I'm like, he looks kind of familiar, but I, I knew I didn't know him, because I don't know anybody in Nashville, and so, he was standing behind us, or something, or he walked in front of us, and I'm like, Courtney, I know who that dude looks like, that dude looks like Johnny Depp, and so then, like, not 10 seconds later after I said that, this lady asked if she could take her picture with him because she said he looked like Johnny Depp, too. And I was like, I am so awesome at spotting, like, normal people who look like celebrities. And Courtney was like, you were right, Mandy. I'm like, I knew he looked like somebody. I just didn't know who it was, and he totally looked like Johnny Depp. So, okay. Ryan Starr was the opening act. I wanted to see Ryan Starr. I just now, like, found his music, like, when I found out that he was going to be opening for him. He's freaking the shiznit. He is the shit. Um, and I love his music. And it was like a tough decision. Like I had even, like, I wanted to meet the Google Dolls, but I wanted to see his set too. Like so bad. And so my plan was if I was in the front of the line, I would just run my happy little ass down in there and I'll get to see a set. And it happened. Like I was like the fourth or fifth person in line. So I think I only missed like the first two songs because I got to see the entire set and I got to see my two favorite songs, which is Long Way Home and Start a Fire. Um, if y'all are going to go to the Goo Dolls concert this fall tour, make sure you go see him because number one, he is like an awesome rocker. Like he has the best rocker whale. Like I've been to a lot of concerts where the dudes try to do the rocker whale and they fall a little bit short of it. This dude is like What's that Sebastian Bach from Skid Row during, um, I Remember You. You know how he has that mega whale at the end of it? Like, Ryan Starr could totally do that whale and, like, not skip a beat. I mean, he was awesome. So, for my meet and greet, it was funny because I had bought them a gift. I've never bought him a gift before. I've never taken a gift. And usually I'm like, people bring gifts. And I'm like, I should have brought a gift. And I totally never do. But I did this time. And, um, yeah. 
I brought him a gift and I wrote like a letter in it because y'all know about like my weight loss. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I still have a lot to lose. I'm still not happy with myself. And my meet and greet picture looked looks better than most of them. Um, but it's still not as good as I wanted it to be. But next time it'll be better because next time Mandy's going to be a hundred pounds lighter and I'm going to rock it. Um, so I gave them their gift and I bought them, um, a bottle of Kentucky vodka and, um, I found a recipe. One of the girls was talking about it at work and it's called, pardon my French, but it's called a Kentucky motherfucker is the name of this drink. And I gave them the stuff to make it and I gave them the recipe and I wrote a letter and I got a card and I put a picture in it. Uh, that picture that I was talking about, the one that I was like, damn, Mandy, you're freaking fat. You need to lose weight. Um, I put that picture in there too. Um, and there's a picture of it. Yeah. Schwa. Took my picture. Went back to my seat. Saw Ryan Starr. Um, met Ryan Starr. Uh, his CDs are, are like one for 15 or you can buy both of the CDs that he has for 20 Y'all need to bring $20 and buy them CDs because they're awesome. You need to get them. And he will uh, sign stuff and he will take pictures of the merchandise table after his set. You need to go do that too. Um, I got my picture taken with him. I look like a freaking fat pig. Not showing it to y'all. But I will show you a Ryan Star video with, of Start a Fire. And it was so hard for me not to sing because that's my favorite one. And But I didn't want the video of me singing and not him. So, yeah. Here's Start a Fire. <laughs> Our seats were like freaking awesome awesome we were like there was two rows of like fold-out chairs that were like pit seating and then we were the first row behind that and it was awesome and there was like a big gap between us the only thing that kind of annoyed me which it happens at concerts all the time and you know whatever but I mean like I hate it when people get in front of me I pay my money for that seat don't come from the back and get in front of me. And it kind of annoys me when they do it at the venue and, like, nobody, like, the people at the venue don't say anything. But, I mean, it really wasn't that bad because there was such a big gap between them. And I'm kind of tall that it didn't bother me that much. But it is a little bit annoying. You know, that's why I don't do general admission shows. Number one, I'm too old for that. I'm too old for general admission shows. I'm about to be 30. Too old for general admission shows. They're too crowded. People are rude. They bump you. They squish you. My very first Goo Dolls concert was a general admission show. I was 16 years old. They were smoking pot. I had a contact buzz. And I freaking got booted in the head because this was like in 98 when Dizzy of the Girl first came out. And they were body surfing. And I got freaking knocked in the back of the head with somebody's big ass steel toe boot. My sister, Tiffers, she got hit in the face. She had her glasses on. She got hit in the face with someone's boot and it broke. Like it broke the nose piece off. So, yeah, that kind of broke me in for general mission concerts. I don't really like them anymore. But I, that being said, I've been to one other Goo Dolls general mission show. Any away. So, yeah, Goo comes out. And if y'all are watching this because you know about the Goo Dolls, you know how awesome and epic it is. I mean, it was great. I've got like a bazillion pictures. So, shwa.
did notice was they didn't do the iris sing along. Like at the end where he sticks a mic out in the audience and y'all get to sing. He didn't do that. He did like the little acoustic bit where he slows it down. And you know, he did a little verse. And then like they broke into Broadway and like I'm standing there thinking, something's different. What's missing? And then I'm like, he didn't do the iris sing along. But it's all good. I don't know if Nashville had like a curfew or whatever. Um, because they could have. And I had read that on the set list from, I don't remember when, but they had done All Eyes On Me and they didn't do All Eyes On Me. They did Naked and Naked was it for the encore. And it was funny because my friend Courtney that went with me, like, she really didn't know a lot. Like, she knows some goo because, um, we cut hair. Well, y'all know I cut hair, but if you're just watching this for the first time, I cut hair. I do hair. And I make a lot of mixed CDs for work. So I have like a like a whole Goo Goo Dolls mix CD. And then I randomly sneak Goo into other mix CDs, whether it's country. I don't care what it is. I'll put a Goo Goo Dolls song on it. And so when they came out, like the first song they did was Steal Your Song. And when they came out, Courtney was like, I know this song. And I'm like, how do you know this song? And she's like, you play it on the radio. You play it on the radio at work all the time. And I'm like, duh. You're welcome, Courtney. You know, and it's like... You know, I just, it just makes me feel happy because that means if she notices it, then other people that are coming in the shop are noticing it. And they're like, hmm. you know, maybe they go to, go to a Goo Dolls concert one day and they hear a song that was ever, never released as a single. They're like, I know that song from somewhere. You know that song because of me. You're welcome. And then like, it was Courtney's first time going to a Goo Dolls concert too. And so I personally like going to Goo Dolls concerts anymore with people who've never been because then it's almost like it's my first Goo Goo Dolls concert too because I've seen them this is my 17th show which 17 shows is like changed to some people there's some people out there who have seen them like 30 times or more um yeah I like going with people who, who haven't been before um because I have you know just as much fun through them but Courtney like she was tired I could tell she was tired and um I was like going like this I was like smile Courtney. And then like when Tucked Away was on, I'd like point at her. I'm like, okay, when I point at you, I'm like, you say Tucked Away. And then I'd point at her and she'd be like, Tucked Away. And then I'll be like, okay, you know this one, you know? And then like during Dizzy, I'm like, when I point at you, you go, oh, and she would do it. So it was funny. And she had fun and I had fun. And then like, I even did like a little bit of fat girl dance and it's all right to fat girl dance every once in a while. It's okay. Um, what else? Let me see if I've talked to it, y'all. Oh, we stood out by the buses till like, um, probably 12 o'clock and John Resnick came out and he was the only one that came out because, um, well, Mike was out there and then he got on the bus and, uh, yeah, John Resnick came out there and Courtney was like, we've been standing there for like an hour and she's like, uh, Mandy, he's out there. He's over there. You need to go over there. And so we go over there and as soon, like when I first got up there, there was like maybe like five people because the other people hadn't noticed yet. And... So we get up there and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get my picture with him and I'm going to, I'm going to leave. We can go home, you know? And, um, but no, then the other people came and, you know, it's just like, I'm not a pushy person. So I kind of like got pushed out of the way because I'm not a pushy person. And like, I was literally next in line to get my picture taken with him. And I, I don't know what happened, but I didn't get up there. So I was finally like, you know what? I'm tired. Let's just go. And we had been talking to these two girls from the inner machine and I cannot remember their names. But the, the one girl, she was from Louisville. Be, and when she told us that, I'm like, I knew you talk like me, you know. And she was hilarious and she was awesome. So we were walking back to the car and I was like, oh, I didn't get to get my picture taken with him. And now I'm sad. And she's like, girl, she's like, get back up there and get in there and get your picture taken with him. She's like, I will come with you. So we went back up there and um, I did get my picture taken with him. Um, it doesn't look that good, though, because... I look sweaty and it just like from the angle of it, my boobs look like they're like a triple D and they ain't no triple D. I can assure you of that. Um, so yeah, not going to show you that picture either, but I did get to meet him by the buses and it was totally worth staying there and waiting because I got to talk to like some really cool people and, um, yeah, I just had so much fun. Even though we, you know, I got to talk to really cool people and I got to meet John Resnick by the bus. Um, I did lean up on the cockroach wall, though. That was pretty gross. Yeah. So, is that possibly it? Possibly. Oh, it was so good, y'all. It was so good. Um, 
so happy. So, yeah. Um, is that all I want to say? I, I need to make sure because I can cut all this out. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's that's my content review. Usually I write blogs, but now that I've got a blog, like I'm totally vlogging this shit because it is way more awesome when you say it than when you try and like type it out and put all the exclamation points in there and like nobody gets it because like you don't understand my excitement. Like I can put fifty thousand exclamation points, but you're not hearing it from my mouth. 